I'm back with another extremely cheap but surprisingly good microphone, the once again by Faley V10. It's 98% nerdy stuff and it's coming right up. So, good day and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I am Groot. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified the minute new content drops. Cheers. Okay, so am I losing my marbles, or does this thing sound not bad? Almost good. Hmm. I mean, there's no way they could bottle lightning twice, is there? Can this Chinese company create two kick-ass mics for cheaper than a dinner at the Olive Garden? I actually have no idea how much a dinner would cost at the Olive Garden. I've uh, never been there. But if I did know what it would cost, I would then say that that is more expensive than this mic. I'm going to be honest, that didn't make sense. 80 bucks? Yes, $80. Does this sound like an $80 mic to you? Does it? So this is the second by Faley mic review I've done here on this channel. The first was the C414 mic, which you can watch right here. I was blown away at the quality of that mic for $50. So this is $30 more, and this is what you get. Okay, so just before we have a closer look at it, I'm going to let you know the full and complete company history of Bai Feili. They're a Chinese company. Okay, so let's have a look at it. This mic is much larger than I thought it would be, and it's made in the style of an Austrian Audio OC18 or OC818 or even a JZ mic, but with a few slight differences. There are no switches or buttons, it's just a simple cardioid large diaphragm condenser. It's all metal and feels very strong and robust. It sports a 34 millimeter capsule in there and the metal grill has a little give. It has an XLR connection and requires phantom power to operate. But wait, there's more. It comes with a super nifty shock mount that has metal threads. Oh look, companies, they're learning. It's actually a pretty good shock mount, except for that you can't twist the mic when on. This is a problem for getting angles you might need when it's on a boom stand. I just found a way to kind of uh, mount it sideways so I can twist it and it works fine. Just not pretty. But wait, there's more. It also comes with a Hakan style pop filter. Hakan, Hakan, Hakan. Hakan style pop filter. That's pretty awesome. It actually works pretty well too. I'm using it right now. You you can't tell because you can't see me since you're looking at the top view right now. Oh, there you are. Hi. But wait, there's more. It also comes with a foam windscreen type pop filter so you can double up. This works just as well as these do. Fine. It works fine. It weighs more than a pound, I think. I have, I have no idea. I, it was too heavy for my gram scale, and I couldn't find any info on that. Rest assured, though, it can be used as a workout weight. It's friggin' heavier than you'd think. Actually, I know it's heavier because as I've been filming this, the mic keeps drooping down on this boom stand I got it on. It's just drooping and drooping. I wonder how low it's going to go by the, by the time I'm done. Heavy. No, I I, uh, I just had to bring it up again. I can't wait for it to hit the bottom. It'll just ruin this whole video. And it'll sound not right. It measures... Oh, hold on a sec. Let me just find my trusty old measuring tape here. <laughs> you know, this measuring tape was manufactured by an awesome reptilian spaceship pilot named Grig. I picked it up on planet Rylos in 84. <laughs> anyway. It measures just under 6.5 inches from top to the bottom of the XLR stem, 2.5 inches wide, and 1.25 inches thick. Okay, so I've owned or used an insane amount of mics in my life. Bought, sold, traded, borrowed, as one does. 
I think I bought my very first brand new real microphone, a Shure SM57, back in 1991, which incidentally was Terminator 2 Judgment Day and career opportunities ago. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Ever since, I've powered through so many cheap and expensive mics alike. The question I have is where were cheap, good mics all my life? It was always a massive investment for me, like, like eat craft dinner for a month kind of thing. None of this Olive Garden pricing that I still don't know the pricing of, or even if Olive Garden is good, to be honest. It's probably not. It's probably not good. So... So far for voice, it sounds good, right? No resonances? Nope, it's good, it's solid. Okay, let's play a little on the guitar and sing. Uh, I already did this, I tested it out and pre-recorded it. Uh, for this little ditty you're about to see here, I used some compression on the vocals, just, just some of it, uh, because I was quiet and then loud, and otherwise it would have sounded stupid and I couldn't not add compression. You know how it goes. Also, I added a touch of room reverb because it's my channel and uh, it's not scientific in the least. And also I recorded it on a planet that is made of only just colored smoke. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Another mic and I like it Yeah, I like it This mic is a wicked cheap But it's not sharp No, it's not sharp I like it more than the room See, it's dropping still. It's still dropping. That's that's a heavy mic. That's a heavy mic right there. So I did have a chance to really test this out before I arrived at my analysis. Actually, I even took it to a session with Dean Martin sometime back in the mid 1900s. But as nice as he was, I couldn't convince him to try it. <laughs> he was really blown away by the look of it, though, and he even said he'd think about it. But I think he just wanted to stick with his U-47. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> so I suppose it's time for... Analysis. This mic is good. It sounds far better than it has any right to. You don't have any right to. One drawback from this mic that I could find is its self-noise. It's a bit noisy. You'll have to have headphones on to hear it. Listen. But that is so easily fixed nowadays with plugins. It's not even remotely a problem. And if you're using it for music, chances are you'll not even bother removing the noise unless miking quiet stuff, like violins or cellos, really, really, really low. In that case, go for a quieter mic. Also, for music, I found it a touch annoying at around... 1.5 kilohertz, and the ch -ch 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 sounds are a bit harsh. Do you notice that? Ch -ch -ch -ch. At least where I'm doing my ch -ch ch -ch 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 cha. So very easy to EQ out. It's really not a big deal, but I figured I would tell you. For $80, I have no reservations about recommending this mic. The look of it alone is impressive in your studio, especially in the company of people who don't know who Bifaley is. Me. I don't know who Bifaley is. No one knows. Scholars maintain that the true identity of this company was lost centuries ago, and we're left with the ever-enduring mystery that remains elusively hidden to this day. But forget the looks. The sound quality is great. Not amazing, if you ask me, 
but great. Far better than many mics, five times its price, for sure. I've known at least one VO pro who has secured jobs by auditioning with this mic. I even know one who has used this mic on a major commercial VO job. Another swapped the capsule for a K47 and made it ultra good. So yeah, it's pretty, it's good, it's cheap. It can be yours for just $80 plus shipping. Probably like 110 US dollars when all said and done. That's of course at the time of this video. The mystery company that is by Faley might suddenly know what they've got with these mics and jack up the prices. Who knows? Check out the description below for a link to purchase this mic. The shipping here in Canada from China is $30 US and it arrived here in exactly a week. Both mics got to me in precisely a week. As for me, I enjoy the $50 414 more than this V10. But that's just me. So that's it. I am Groot. Bye now. And transmission. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh no. No, you didn't focus right. Focus on this one. Mm. And watch these other videos. These ones right there. These ones, yes, 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 you see. Watch them. Good. I will see you later. Goodbye.